roots of it probably started for me when I was an undergraduate student in Glasgow and I was involved in several Christian music ensembles, so giving concerts that had a, an evangelistic um, aim. So I guess I started to think about the possibilities of giving concerts of that music in such a way that, that God would really be the focus of it. And as I was thinking about that, people kept coming into my life who were fellow musicians and also fellow Christians. I just, I, I, I will be, I will be pushing through the middle section. Yeah, yeah. 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 My colleague Emily had always wanted to work on the sacred Baroque works with other Christians. We all love this music, we've all studied Baroque music, the musicians play on period instruments, so in some ways it's similar, we're all trained and performing this music, but the difference is that we all believe the message of what we're saying. I'd like to think that our faith comes through um, in that we're not putting on a performance as much as letting the music speak. The difference that it does make to really live what you're singing, and it, it can be hard to pinpoint, but I think audiences know to the music in a different way and it inspires how you do it. Well, it's, all the members of the group are in some way or other are professional musicians, and particularly Baroque musicians, and we had a particular desire as a group to, um, I guess, uh, to serve churches. There are lots of people out there who wouldn't come to a standard church service, but they will come to a concert. Um, and so one of the things we've tried to do is work in partnership with local churches to be able to offer something to their community. and I'm one of the pastors at Downbury Mission. We as a church look as part of our program to reach out into our local community and we have a number of different events where we look to do that and working with De Gratia uh, provides us an opportunity to do that musically and given our community there's quite a few people who don't normally uh, come across uh, our doors who would come in at times like Christmas and Easter for a musical production. We had them uh, uh, you know, in uh, December 2015 for Handel's Messiah and that worked brilliantly. And now uh, for Easter, uh, we're putting on St John's Passion. And so it really fits in really well with our outreach program. Well, I guess at the very basic level, we're bringing this music uh, back into church into a church context. Um, we're very keen as a group also to be really thinking about, I guess, the composer's intentions in terms of putting across a text. It's really special to work alongside these people uh, before we go out and perform, we pray. And also as Christians, we are all on the same page. The most amazing thing about doing uh, performances with a group like De Grazia is when you get people who are performing together all individually and collectively, depending on God in that way, then really special things <laughs> seem to happen. There's so much joy in it, which I don't think I've found um, even performing the same music, but in a kind of secular context, it's um, 
yeah, the, the collective kind of spirit in it's unique. <laughs>